Young engineers there at the Romney Highland Church Railway with Northern Chief about to go on the footplate with driver Steve. Thank you, Steve. Right, I'll get in. Here goes JB Snell. I'm now in that fantastic place, the footplate of a locomotive. What can we see? May we look in the fire? We talked about the firebox. You can't feel the heat in the train, but it is mighty hot. Can you see all the flames in there? It's a real furnace. Can we see the tubes? Yes. Turn open this. You might be able to see the tubes in there. That is making all the heat to make the steam. Right, we talked about pressure. Here's the boiler pressure. Maximum pressure is the red line at 180 pounds per square inch. We are at 170. So pretty much full pressure. What else can we see before we get started? Gauge. Water gauge. Here's the water gauge. We have got, uh, it goes dark. Where the water is in this type of gauge, it's black. So the water level is up to there, which is exactly correct. Where it looks silvery, that's the steam space above the water. So that's exactly correct for the water level at the moment. And other things to look at is Here's the regulator handle that operates the steam valve in the dome. Let's have a look along the outside of the engine. Safety valves are just feathering. Full pressure. Okay. Right, here we go. Whistle. Opening the regulator very slightly to start with. Just taking up the slack in all the couplings. You can see a pressure gauge over on the left here, which is showing about 80 pounds. That's the pressure actually pushing in the steam chest for the pushing on the pistons. And it moves about a bit as the pistons, the cylinders, accept steam from the boiler. That pressure gauge is not as high as the boiler pressure gauge because the regulator is not fully open. If we open the regulator fully, it would spin the wheels. That would be bad. So here we are leaving New Romney. water level moves about a little bit as the water slops up and down inside the boiler. More steam on the regulator. The pressure on the steam chest pressure gauge is going up now. That's 120 now, look. So the handle down here, that one I'm pointing at, got that right, that shuts the cylinder drain cocks. That was what was leaking or hissing the steam out down below the cylinders. Each chuff from the cylinder is one cylinder full of exhaust steam. Sorry, each chuff from the chimney is one cylinder full of exhaust steam. We looked at that earlier on. There's a very slight slip there which the driver controlled immediately. Engine's working quite hard now to accelerate the train. Driver's eye view. So the boiler pressure's come down a little bit now. We're using a lot of steam to get the train moving.
all on the far now to keep the pressure up all the way onto Dim Church. There's a lot of work for the driver to do to drive an engine. Because in the small engines, he's driving the engine and he's maintaining the fire on the boiler. water valve down there, sorry I'm not pointing at it, so that, that's the injector water valve and it's using steam from the steam valve to force water into the boiler to keep the water level correct because we're using steam which is using water from the boiler. Coasting. The water level's gone down quite a bit now, but it's being replaced by the steam injector, by the water injector, powered by the steam. Just a breath of steam to keep the speed up now. We've got the train up to speed. Just a breath of steam to keep the train moving. Coming up to a curve. Well, see, we got it. Yeah, just keep you in the middle of the train. minutes before we get to a level crossing we'll see the gates down and the lights flashing for that more cold was going over a bridge. It's just turned off the steam injector. There's enough water in the boiler now. We've got about 60 pounds per square inch in the steam chest pressure gauge. That tells you how hard the engine's working. A little bit more now. Steve's opened the regulator a bit. You can hear it in the you can hear it in the exhaust, it's working harder again now. Just around this cross corner now, we're coming up to a level crossing. So we have to check for the flashing light to say it's clear. Injector back on now to replace the water in the boiler. Regulator shut, we're coasting. Tiny bit of steam on just to keep us moving. Barrier is going down just now. 
now, look, can you see that? A touch on the brake valve just to take the speed down a bit for the level crossing. slip there, I don't know if you could hear that. The track must be a bit greasy here. We've got 90 pounds per square inch on the steam chest pressure gauge there. That tells you the engine's working pretty hard. Much more than that, if you open the regulator more, it will produce too much power and make the wheels slip. More coal. out of the way here. journey but you can move it towards full gear or back towards mid gear as well depending on how much power you want from the engine. Injector back on again. Wonderfully straight stretch of track here. It's quite difficult to hold it steady enough. We'll do that instead. Steve's just shut off steam, we're really coasting now all the way to Dimchurch. The engine has done the work of accelerating the train, just rolling along now. That's the beauty of steel wheels on steel rails, there's very little friction. The engine's not really working at all now, we're just coasting along, freewheeling. So here are the brakes going on, just a touch of brakes now. A bit more brakes. Level crossing gates have gone down, we've got the flashing light to say it's clear. Steve's explained that there's a U below the signal, which means the signal box is unmanned, so he has permission to go past the signals unlit. Now, if you're listening, here is your train. You're going to leap off this train in a safe manner and go and get onto the other train, and we're in the rear three coaches on this train. Filming the passengers filming us. 
Paris. One of the most difficult bits is breaking a train gently to a stop in just the right place. It's much more difficult than slowing a car down because the brakes don't react very quickly. So you can feel the brakes slowing us down now. And stops. Steve, thank you very, very much. Thank you.